Okay, so um, what we're going to do is use um, WordPress to create some photo albums for the Lambda Phi SWT um, website. So I'm going to go into my browser here and uh, you'll see we're actually within the WordPress dashboard already. Um, to get here, you're going to navigate to this um, address and log in um, using your admin login. Um, that you're not going to, um, I'm not going to show that here just for safety's sake. But anyway, we're in there. What we're going to do, um, our photo albums plugin is here. And um, this is called, the plugin's called WordPress Photo Albums. Um, pretty easy to remember. And um, I've already created the album we're going to be using. It's uh, called Tate right here. But um, to actually create an album, you're just going to click this button, obviously. Um, it's going to ask you, are you sure? Just click OK. Um, and you'll put a name in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create an album here for Bosworth. Um, because I know I'm going to need that one later. Um, so it automatically saves it as you go. You don't have to click save. You can just uh, click off of it when you're done. You can set some settings here. Um, one thing that we'll probably do in the future is we'll have a parent album set up here for 2011. So when 2012 comes along, we won't have all our photos mixed together. We'll have sub albums within um, main albums. So um, later on, I'll probably create that hierarchy. But for now, we just have one big um, thing. You want to note this number, um, the Tate album that we're going to work with is number five I mean number four this one is number five you're going to need that later um, you can always come back and get it um, you can set all kinds of different parameters we're not going to worry about that right now we're just going to come in here and upload some photos so um, so here is your upload section now it gives you a warning here that you can only do 20 at a time um, up to two megabytes so that's not very much um, and you can only take up to 60 seconds so all that just goes to say that don't load a ton of photos in the queue at one time if you don't have a quick connection because it's going to time out on you um, so come here to zip photos if you have your um, if you can put all the pictures into a zip file you can upload that zip file um, which I don't have that right now so what I'm gonna do is single photos I'm gonna pick the album um, you can see Bosworth is already there from what I just created um, but we're gonna go to Tate that I have already created and uh, I'm gonna choose file now I'm on a Mac so this looks a little bit different but this will be your typical um, Explorer window that will come up you'll navigate to the folder where you have all the files um, and I've already uploaded one picture this 2387 here's 2388 um, just for an example and upload that single photo and it'll go slowly but surely okay so one photo has been uploaded into album number four um, so now we want to check that so let's see what it looks like um, we come into photo albums and let's look at Tate we're gonna go to edit and you can see here is the picture I, the image I uploaded before we started the tutorial and here's the one I just uploaded so um, it looks good you can come in here and set a name and a description that will show up with you um, when you view the pictures after you've put it on to actually put it on a page um, you can rotate the pictures move them to different albums go ahead and delete them here um, you can do all kinds of different things um, I would recommend setting a name or just leaving that blank because um, usually it shows up when you display the album on a page 
So that's what we're going to do right now is actually show you how to put this album on a page. Um, I've shown you how to upload. Once you upload the pictures, they're they're saved in the database, but they aren't going to show up anywhere until you punch them in somewhere. So the way photos are working on this site is um, I'll show you on the site we have the Lambdafy site the photos page is actually a blog category of photos um, so you can see this is what an album looks like from WPPA which is the plugin we're using you can click on a photo and then you can comment on it um, once you get to that photos page it's it's a pretty good little plugin. Um, here's what happens when you click on a picture. Uh, let's let it load up here. So the picture comes up in this little light box. You can add a comment, which is really cool. Um, that comment applies just to that picture, which is a key feature that we wanted. So anyway, I've added this on here that clicks on this little instruction. I've added that onto this page to make sure people know what to do. But anyway, this is how our photos work. We have the photos blog. So you can see before we had these um, slideshows from Picasso. Um, that's how we were showing pictures. It was just a way to get by. This is the new plugin. So this is what our taped photos are going to look like. So um, anyway, that's what we're going for. We need to create a blog entry though that will show up on this page. So I'm going to close that, um, and I'm going to come over to Posts. A post is a blog entry. A page is a static page. We're not going to create a page. We're creating a post. Um, now, we've already got a draft created here from back in November, so we're just going to go ahead and edit that. But what we would do if that wasn't there is we would just click Add New. Um, basically, this just already has the title put in, so I'm going to go ahead and use this and um, you can see it's already got some code in there that is the code that makes the slideshow run we're going to just select all and delete that um, this will be blank if you create a new page you'll just put in a title here and um, what we're going to do here is put some code in so um, I've already got it copied to my clipboard I'm going to just paste it in here this is our code. You want to make sure you're on HTML and not visual because I've got an H5 tag which makes the formatting work for that um, message I put right there. And this is how you get an album to display. Now I know it looks crazy but it's percent percent WPPA percent 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 album equals and then a number and then percent percent this little guy right here is what makes that album show up um, it's called a short code and that is what we need so if you'll remember the Tate album was album number four we already saw that um, and Bosworth is going to be album number five I showed you that so um, I copied this from another page that Riggs page that was actually album number two um, so we're going to change this since we're on Tate we're going to make that a 4 um, right in here. So this code right here is what you're going to need to put in. Um, you can always come back to a page and copy it. Make sure, like I said, you're on HTML though. We're going to go ahead and publish that page. Um, and I'm going to, it's already set to have been published in the past. Um, before we publish, you do want to make sure this is selected for wish list. You do want to protect this comment. You don't, I mean, this content. You don't want people that aren't members to be able to see it. Um, you can also go in and ask, set other settings here to ask um, if they, well, not ask, but you can set different membership levels. So if for some time in the future, if we have a member of a certain level, you don't want them to be able to access photos, but you do want them to be able to access other content. You can set all that here. Right now, we only have free membership, so that's not necessary. You can also do a pay per post, um, which I don't know why we would do that for photos, but it's good to know for the future. So anyway, um, if you come to the visual, now that you've posted that in, the visual, that's what it's just a, a media, I mean a text editor, if you wanted to change any of that, we're just going to hit publish. 
Um, kind of a long drawn out explanation there, but um, you'll see that it says post published. I'm not going to view post because I want to actually see it within the site. So I'm going to open the site up again in a new tab and go to photos. And you'll see it actually posted underneath um, rigs because of the date that was preset in there. But you'll see it is loaded in as an album. Um, so that's good. And like I said here, it's popping up with the name of that image. And so if you don't want that to happen, uh, if you don't want it just so the file name, you can always put a name in for that image. But they can click on the thumbnail as I'm doing now, and you'll see it's loading. Um, it's going to load the bigger picture. Very cool. Um, commenting. Now there's only two in this album right now. We're going to add the rest in. But that is basically all you need to do. So once again, the workflow, um, you're going to create the album. You're going to come to this part of the plugin right here. Um, you're going to create a new empty album. Then you're going to upload photos. Um, I would recommend putting them all in a zip file. Um, I'll actually come back and do a tutorial because um, you're gonna after you upload the zip file, you're going to have to import them. That adds a new step, but... I'm assuming that you're going to be using this part right here, the single photos. Um, this is a slow way if you had a bunch. We have 69 photos in this folder that I need to upload, so I wouldn't want to do them each at one time. I'd want to do a zip file. Um, so I'm going to show you how I would do that. I'll just go ahead and do it on this video. I have that folder on my desktop. Um, if you were on a PC, it would be a little bit more difficult to do this because um, they just don't they don't make it as simple but um, I'm gonna select all the files in this folder and I need to let's see I'm pretty sure I need to create an archive and I'm kinda new to Mac so I'll need to figure out how to do that um, I think it might be compress mm. and yes it did so it created this archive file right here it's 10 megabytes though um, you can see that so that's gonna be a pretty stout file for me to upload within 60 seconds it's probably not gonna happen on the connection I'm on right now so I'm not gonna try that um, from here because I just have pretty slow connection but it will be important to go ahead and learn how to zip this whole folder into a folder. Um, I'm just gonna do two files. Well, I'll do three. I'm just gonna compress those. So we're looking for archive two. That's only 332 kilobytes. So that'll be enough for our explanation. Um, so I'm gonna come back in, and I'm gonna upload zip photos. So. I'm going to choose that file, once again navigate to it, here's archive 2, I'm going to go ahead and select it, um, and it's going to take me to the page I need to go to after I do this, because this box is checked, so you can see it's uploading 55, 60, 65, 70%, it's going down here at the bottom left, you can see the status thanks to Google Chrome, um, as you can see it's not the quickest in the world, so okay looks like it all got uploaded and we're waiting for the page to load okay so it successfully extracted that um, and it's going to import the pictures from the zip file which is called the depot um, and it automatically selected the right album and it's automatically selected those three images so it's automatically done pretty much everything it needs to do um, for you. You're just going to have to click this button. And it's processing the files, blah -de blah then it says it's done. Three photos were imported. Perfect. So um, now if we go back to um, this post, there should be five photos, and there are. So that's how you would do multiple photos. Um, now, unfortunately, we've kind of skipped a step that was part of what I did before I started the video. I'll show you what I had to do. Um, basically, 
you've got your these photos are all in Picasso here so um, I went into this album right here you can see the Rusty Tate album um, that's where you had them already I didn't actually have those files I had to go in this album and then I um, clicked on the photo and actually right clicked and clicked save image as and saved each individual photo into that folder that we accessed earlier um, I'm gonna have to do the same for Bosworth you go back to my photos and go to Bosworth there's 99 photos in this album I'm gonna have to save all of those individually unfortunately it won't let me download the whole album so I'm having to do it individually but after this you will not do this you'll never come back and use Picasso you're gonna save those photos into a folder on your desktop or wherever you'd like and actually go ahead and get them resized um, I'd recommend probably a, putting about 1000 pixel width on those um, let's see what these actually are looks like the width on these is about 576 so maybe you could set um, the size to about 600 pixels wide for every photo that way it's sm they're smaller um, you can see these are pretty small these would probably be two or three megabytes if they weren't resized um, so resizing them beforehand is a smart move but um, I'm gonna have to go through here and individually download each of these photos from Picasso onto my machine and then re-upload them into WordPress using the WPPA app but um, that should get you through don't forget you're gonna need to remember that little short code you can always come back to a post that already works and grab it from there so if you come in here you say well I want to do Bosworth um, copy this part right here and paste it into the new one and make sure you change that number to number five for Bosworth or whatever number you're on once again when you copy this whole thing with the h5 tag make sure you get the whole thing and make sure you're under HTML when you copy it to your clipboard um, that way and as well when you paste it in that way you'll get the HTML in there um, but that's pretty much all you need to know and I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording and um, we'll go from there <laughs>